Today, we are looking at cheap web hosting in 2024. Where can you find high performance web hosting for a low price? I think with these Rack Nerd New Year specials, they've got some really great deals. I'm going to be running a lot of benchmarks and comparing these to Vulture High Frequency, DigitalOcean, Hosting and SiteGround and a few others. So if this sounds interesting, then keep watching. So it's been over a year since I first looked at RackNerd on the channel when I looked at their low cost Intel VPSs. Now, since that video, they have introduced AMD Ryzen VPSs. So if you check the link in the description and head to those new year specials, um, you can find these one, Premium Ryzen NVMe. This is what we're gonna test today. Last time we tested Intel, um, these were very, very cheap. These are per year prices. The performance of these ones was mediocre, but these uh, Ryzen, uh, ones are what we're going to look at today. I was very pleasantly surprised by how well these perform in comparison. So today I'm going to be testing the 1.2 gigabyte of RAM Ryzen VPS. So you get one CPU of a Ryzen 7950X. So this these CPUs only came out just over one year ago. So fairly recent hardware um, for less than $2 a month when you break that down. Um, if you want two virtual CPUs, you can actually upgrade as well for a little bit extra. But this is what I'm going to test today and see how it runs. So I'm not going to give you a full setup tutorial for RackNerd here. I've done that before on the channel. I'll put that up in the corner if you want to check out um, the RackNerd setup. But this is what it's like in the dashboard. What I wanted to point out was that the recurring amount is the amount that you signed up for. So they don't increase their price the next year. You get that uh, uh, promotional price for as long as you want to stay signed up to that service. So I've got my um, 1.2 gigabyte Ryzen 950X that we're using here. Um, the control panel pretty basic looking control panel. You can do a few things on here, reinstall it. If you want to start from fresh, um, you can set your password. Um, but yeah, there's not too much you can do on the control panel. Most of it you have to run from the command line. Um, what I've done for this demonstration is I've set up a cloud panel. Um, this is a free control panel that you can use to control virtual machines. I've done a setup for cloud panel before as well, which I'll link to in the description if you want to try that out, but really nice performance for running WordPress on cloud panel. And for our testing, I've got WordPress set up with WooCommerce. So I've got a cadence template set up here with our outdoor store. This is our shop page. And I've got a basic text-based page here for a lightweight testing example as well. So we've got WooCommerce, we've got basic static uh, page, and we're going to run our GT metrics tests first. So for our shop page, I like to do a test for the largest contentful paint for a customer logging in and redirecting to the shop. So this is 1.1 seconds. I've run this test on many other hosts, so I can show you how this compares as well as the largest contentful paint on our static page as well. So let's load up our results. Okay, so the static page was LCP of 0.53 seconds and 1.1 seconds for the shop. Now to compare that, um, we've got all our other hosts that we've tested on the channel down here. So the RackNerd Ryzen here is this one. And we can see that at this price point, we are basically performing just as well as almost anything we've tested on the channel at 1.1 seconds. The only one that really outperformed this was Vulture High Frequency um, at 0.9 seconds for the shop and around 0.5 seconds. All of these were pretty close to 0.5 seconds um, for the static page, uh, RackNerd was 0.53. So very competitive, but you've got to recognize that this is less than $2 a month when many of these are, are five to 10 times more expensive. So I'm um, really quite impressed with that rack nerd result. And the other benchmarks I did was with Anton Alexandrov's WordPress hosting and benchmark tool where it got an 8.9, along with Kevin Ohashi's WP Performance Tester where it got just over 0.6 seconds. I'll show you how these compare as well. Okay, so WordPress hosting benchmark tool. So this is a rating out of 10 where RackNerd's Ryzen server got an 8.9. This is actually the second fastest result that we've achieved on the channel. Um, the quickest being Vulture High Frequency. I've got a 9.3 for its result there. Um, this is a big improvement. This 8.9 outperforms the RackNerd Intel by a large amount. 6.7 was what we got for the previous Intel server, but 8.9, big jump there. And this actually outperforms quite a lot of other more expensive hosts. So really impressive um, with this RackNerd Ryzen VPS. And moving on to the WP Performance Tester benchmark here. This is the execution time. So in seconds, lower is better here. We've got RackNerd um, doing a 0.645 second result there. Um, this is quite competitive with the other hosts. Um, not as impressive as the previous benchmarks, but still pretty pretty solid. Um, the quickest one being Vulture High Frequency still, but the 
jump from uh, uh, AMD Ryzen here is huge. The Intel one was um, was not as impressive as we've got here with the Ryzen. Very um, good improvement uh, moving up to that Ryzen uh, CPU. So just circling back to the details of these New Year deals. So all of these specs are actually pretty generous. Um, 2,500 gigabytes of monthly transfer. So this is good. For comparison, DigitalOcean and Vulture give you 1,000. So that is really generous. Um, 4,000 there and 6,000 there as well on the higher plans. So pretty good in terms of their transfer allowance. Um, you get one gigabit per second on its network port. So that is very solid, much better than what you'd find on most of these other plans are tested um, with the exception being Vulture high frequency gives you five gigabits per second. Um, Digital Ocean um, typically runs a bit faster than one gigabit per second as well. So um, this is still more than enough to handle lots of traffic. You could easily handle 100, 200,000 um, site views per month on a connection like this. Um, if you've got it set up properly, um, this is more than enough. Um, so yeah, totally uh, excellent value. So check that out in the description if you're interested. Okay, time for our conclusions on Rack Nerds deals for the Ryzen 7950X VPS systems here. So outstanding price point, no price increase on renewal. That is a big advantage that these deals have compared to a lot of other places which will increase their prices when it's time to renew. So I was really impressed there. Good data transfer allowance. Excellent benchmarks results, particularly considering the price in comparison to other places. And um, one thing I didn't mention was port 25 is open on this. I tested it. And so you, if you wanted to run a mail server, you actually could try that on uh, RackNerd, which is uh, something that you don't get on a lot of other VPS providers. In terms of the cons, you need to be comfortable with installing from a command line and managing your own server. I'll put tutorials up at the end screen so you can check out what that actually means if you haven't tried that before. Um, and the server locations only on the US East Coast for these particular um, CPU. So New York and Ashburn are the data centers where these are located. So I think for most English speaking projects, um, the US East Coast is probably the best place to be hosting anyway. So I don't think that's a major con, but if you're on the other side of the world and you want something specific uh, to your audience, just be aware that the server locations for this deal are just US East Coast. But uh, I don't think that's a major problem for most of us. But in conclusion, overall, outstanding value and performance at this price point for the more advanced users in our audience. So hopefully that was useful. Again, those tutorials will be up on the end screen if you want to check those out. The deals are in the description if you want to check those out as well. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.